Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra and today I am here with a video. Today I am building a tattoo market. Uh, I figured with May being the honorary Star Wars month because of May the 4th and all the things, uh, I thought it would be fun to do a bunch of Star Wars related Star Wars Star Wars related videos this month. So yeah, if you don't like Star Wars, sorry. <laughs> um, but I am kicking it off with a back to market. Um, so this is kind of just a bunch of random buildings in one lot. Um, I do have the lot set to be generic so that I didn't have to do any build restrictions and yeah so I don't know how much this lot works I didn't play test it but I'm sure if you wanted it to be a restaurant or a store or whatever you could um, switch the lot and you know get it going but first we are starting off with the star speeder like a repair shop um, so if your speeder is broken, just bring it here and they'll fix it. Um, I thought this was such a funny idea. Like, I don't know why, but I loved it. And I love that there's a star speeder for sale out front. Um, I, I don't know. Like, it's Star Wars, but it's very modernized, I feel like. Um, and the uh, basement treasures kit came in clutch for this build. It was so useful. I was like, oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is where you bring your speeder in. And I added like a little receptionist desk, even though you can't really do that. But um, I really wanted this to feel very, you know, realistic. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, so I hope you guys are excited for all of the videos I have planned. Um, I have been working on them a lot. It's been kind of hard because it's very hard to build Star Wars-y things in The Sims. The criticisms have been fine. Like it's That's easy. It's just the build. It's been a little tricky. And you can't build on Batu in the game. I don't, at least I don't think you can, so that sucks. <laughs> so I have to build it like random lots, but whatever. It is what it is, you know? Um, but yeah, I did not play test this lot, but when I was doing the tour, I saw Sims coming and going. So yeah, but I'm sure you could make this like playable. Um, you might have to, you know, change some things and add some things here and there, but I think it, it could work. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. And you guys will be proud of me. I used debug a lot. <laughs> I used it, I think, on almost every build I've done for this month. So that's cool. I never used debug. I forget it exists. And it's so... Like, there's so much that I just get so overwhelmed, but I feel like if I use it, then I'll know it, you know? So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, so this next shop is like a, a nursery, a, but not for babies, for, um, plants. Uh, it's like a curtain shop, and I thought this would be fun. Like, that it's this, whoever owns this shop gets plants from all around the galaxy and sells them even though they look like normal plants because it's the sims but we can pretend that they're fun plants um and i did add a little greenhouse in the back and i just put so many plants in this little building it kind of is a lot but i don't know i thought that was a fun little idea and i just needed and I, I i needed something in this building so plants it is plants is a great go-to <laughs> um and I try to make a variety so there's different colors, different plants, you know. Um, so if you want this to be a functional, fun functional store, easily could. And all of these are for sale. And yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't know what prompted me to do this build, um, but it it did. <laughs> I was planning out what I wanted to do for 
the videos this month and I was like, oh yeah, a market. Literally no notes other than a Batu market. Usually I will like jot down ideas like, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I'll jot down ideas like, oh, make, like if I'm building a house, I'd be like, make sure to include this room. So it's like specific for a sim. This build, I was like, oh, dee 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 dee. Like, I don't know what. I think I bit off more than I could chew with this month. <laughs> Um, I had to change my plans a little bit here and there, which is fine, it happens, but I think I had bigger aspirations than what The Sims is capable of, but oh well. Um, but yeah, um, and I would, uh, if you place this on, make sure Move Objects is on, <laughs> um, <laughs> because yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot, I'll just say that. Um, but yeah, so how are you guys doing? Are you guys, are you guys killing it? I'm tired today that I'm filming this voice over. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to get as much YouTube stuff done as I can, as far ahead as I can, um, cause I'm going through, I'm having some life changes, so I don't, I still really enjoy YouTube, so I'm like, okay. Let's give me a head of more ahead of schedule than I already am, so that I don't have to stress about it. Um, but yeah, and yeah, so and I I'm loving I love Star Wars, so it's fun to do a little Star Wars month. Um, and sorry this video is so long, but there's literally one, two, three, four, five builds in one, so that's a lot. I thought about making this a two-parter but I didn't. <laughs> so you get a 20 minute video instead. I hope that's okay. You get to hang out with me for 20 minutes. So you're welcome. Um, but yeah, so what am I doing? I am taking so long. What? I remember this, this build took me forever to do. I think it was like three days. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'll finish it in one sitting. And then I was like, just kidding. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and I know I built a, I think it was called Camp Batu. I built it a while ago, and it kind of is similar to this build, but it's not the same build, but it is kind of the same idea and concept, uh, but, because when I was doing this, I was like, haven't I done something like this before? No, it was Camp Batu. okay, so don't. Yeah, but that is all on my channel if you want to watch. <laughs> anyway, so right there next to the uh, repair shop, I added like a little table that Sims can sell stuff at because I thought that might be fun. Um, I feel like in Star Wars when you're they're walking around on the planet, there's always people like atmosphere elements like that, like people trying to sell stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I thought that was cool and I thought that might be fun. Even if you just download this lot, you could have your sim sell stuff there, you know? Um, next we are moving on to the restaurant, which I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do a restaurant, but I think it turned out cool. I really like the color scheme, except for the windows don't match, which drives me crazy, but I'm gonna pretend that they match. Um, but I love how this restaurant turned out. I have been itching to do like a full-on restaurant. But when I was doing this restaurant, I reminded myself why I hate building them. But I do want to do like a restaurant. I'm really, really itching. It's been a minute since I've done a full on build for it. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe we'll see. We'll see if I can figure something out. Um, but yeah, and then I got tired and I gave up right here. See, ooh, video re <laughs> restarted. Um, and I don't- oh, I realized I didn't build a bathroom, so these are the bathrooms. I was gonna do how they have like those rooms that are like, I don't know, those lot bathrooms that they put on like big lots. I don't know what they're called. I was gonna do that, but I didn't. So, yeah. Teehee. Um, I made this kind of look like a hut type thing, and I don't know, I was just like, I need a bathroom, so that's what I did. And I added a changing table because, you know, babies got babies come to Batu, babies get stinky. 
Um, so, yeah, and one thing that was fun but kind of challenging towards the end was making each of these buildings look different and unique. Because I didn't want them to like look the same to each other, but also making them look Star Wars-y. And I was like, ugh. Um, so like this one, the bathroom kind of looks like a hut. Like it probably wasn't there and, you know. Or it could have been there. It could be like an old building that whoever built bathrooms was like, oh, <laughs> bathrooms. Um, oh, and look, here I remembered that I was working on the restaurant. So I also added a bar because that was my way of being like, I don't know what to put here and bars take up a lot of space. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does that, but sometimes I'll be like, hmm, what takes up a lot of space? A bar? That's it. I don't think there's really anything else that takes up a lot of space like that, but that's okay. Um, I do really like the interior of this build. I really like the, the color palette. I don't know why. Like that shade of yellow is very pretty. Um, and I hate how modern the kitchen looks, but like, I don't know how I was going to not make that look like that. Oops. <laughs> um, but like I said, I really, I want to do a restaurant. So if you guys want to see me do another restaurant, let me know. I don't have any ideas of what I could do. So like, it would be a minute, but I, 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 I want to. So if you guys are like, yes, here, I make one. Then it's like, well, okay, you guys are like feeding my ego that I should do one. Um, <laughs> and I enjoy doing the foliage outside and the landscaping. I talked about this in a different build. I don't know what build. And I said that I, I hate doing it. I'm not good at it. I And I'm not like fishing for compliments right now. I just don't feel like I'm very good at it. Uh, but I feel like I'm enjoying it more, which is, it's been fun. Um, so anyways, moving on, this is the, the, they, why did I say they? This is the Droid Depot, which if you don't know, Journey to Batu is based off of a land at Disneyland and Disney World. It's called Galaxy's Edge, and it's, you go to Planet Batu. Anyways, I'm not going to get into it. If you go to these lands, there's a place called the Droid Depot, where you can build your own droid, like, from scratch. So it's kind of a nod to that, and they also have the Droid Depot in the game but not like this so i made that um so it's like you can go buy a droid they also have toys there or they can fix your droid um i thought that was i love droids and so i wanted to include them um and then over here is like a food stand place um there's a blue milk stand and then i just picked kind of two random ones that fit the vibe of batu um, because the milk stand is iconic, and that is another thing that they have at Galaxy's Edge. Um, that is one of the things I must get. Almost every time I go to Disneyland or Disney World, I get blue milk. And it's not, like, actual milk. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's just, like, a drink. Um, I would not drink just a glass of blue milk. Just throwing that out there. Um, so I had to include that, because it's, like, one of my favorites. Here I am finishing the bathroom, because apparently I didn't. Um, and then the Droid Depot kind of gave it more of a modern at exterior. Uh, like I said, just trying to make it all different. Um, and yeah, and then I added that X-Wing in the back and I kind of blocked it off so it's like no one goes back there, except for whoever's X-Wing that is. Um, yeah, and I've never been into Droid Depot at Disneyland. Sorry if you heard that clock. Um, I've never been in it at Disneyland or Disney World, so I don't know what it looks like. I've seen some videos, but I don't really understand. Um, I was in the gift shop, so I don't know what's going on in there. Um, so I kind of just did my own version. Uh, and I realized, so those lockers are like people lockers, and they have droid lockers. I figured out to build later. So I'm kind of annoyed about that. But, yeah. <laughs> and these are actual droids, so you'll see in the tour they move and it's so cute. I love that. I didn't know that they moved like that when they idled. So, I thought that was adorable. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. Um, and I hope you guys are excited for all of the fun Star Wars builds and criticisms I have planned. I know Star Wars isn't everyone's cup of tea, but... Yeah, I don't know. I thought it would be fun, and I'm really excited to share 
what I've been working on with you guys. So if you are new, make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And make sure to give this video a like if you liked it and leave me a comment. Tell me if you've ever been to the real life galaxy's edge. I would love to hear. I have been quite a few times. If you know me, I'm, I am, as they say, a Disney adult and I frequent Disneyland a few times a year. So I've, I've been there. <laughs> Um, just kidding. That sounded so rude. I didn't mean that. Um, but I would love to hear if you have been and what you thought. Or let me know what you think about Star Wars pack. I know people hate it. Um, I'm in the minority. I think it's a pretty good pack. <laughs> um, there are some things from it that I use all the time and I think it's a fun gameplay pack. But I understand that not everyone likes it and I'm not hating. I'm just, I'm curious too. I know quite a few people that don't even own the pack, so... Yeah, but anyways, thank you again for watching. Uh, I don't remember if I said give this video a like, but you should give this video a like. Um, and yeah, I'll be posting pictures of this build on my Instagram. So if you want to see like pictures instead of a video of this build, head over there. And yeah, thank you again for watching this video. It means so much to me. And again, this is up on the gallery. Did not play test it. Um, so I don't know if it works, but yeah, so sorry about that. But again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video for the first create Star Wars creative sim. <laughs> Anyways, bye!